I'm going to show you the proper mounting for Gator speed load on steel curve shaft units. I've got an FS40 here, but it's the same for an FS36, FS40, and FS50. They're all the curve shaft models. So to replace the head, the bump knob, this is a curve shaft, so it's right hand, which means it will turn counterclockwise to remove it. So you remove the, loosen the bump knob until it comes completely loose, and then the whole assembly will come off as a whole piece. With the Gator speed load, you'll open the head. In the packet of hardware that comes with the head, there is the adapter, and there are three pieces of hardware. There's only one adapter for use on this particular one, so it presses in as such, and then fits over on top of it like this. The piece of hardware for steel you use, there's two bolts and there's one nut. Steel uses the nut. It's an 18, uh, eight millimeter by 125 right hand nut. So once on, you thread it on. Use a 13 millimeter wrench or a ratchet socket to tighten it down. And that's all you have to do is just tighten it by hand. <clears throat> Don't over tighten it. And then snap the assembly on. And that's all there is to putting it on. It's very simple to do. You will notice there is a little bit of gap here at the base, which I know there's some concerns from some customers about line wrap. Yeah, the potential is there that they'll get a little bit of additional line wrap than they would with the standard head. However, the ease of opening and closing and replacing the line should easily overcome that.